Hi guys, this is Dawn Marie and I am back with another video. If you are new to the channel, then welcome. On this channel, I actually create videos on my behind the scenes and journey of starting a brand new digital product business from scratch. Now I'm a digital marketer, digital marketing strategist, and I am going to use my years of experience in digital marketing to create a brand new online business. And I want to show you what that process m looks like. So you can see from start to finish my business plan, where I'm the idea that I came up with for the product, where I'm going to share that product, how I'm going to get people to know about the product, the overall strategy of what I'll be using to grow this business. If that is something that you are interested in, then I would love if you subscribe to the channel. And if you are joining me again, then welcome. I'm so glad to have you. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I've created or how I create digital products using Google Documents. Now, in my last video, I showed you how I recreated an ebook template using Canva. Canva is more of a visual platform where you can design really nice pieces, but you may not need that design element or you may not like Canva yourself and you just want something simple and you can have the simplicity of a digital product through Google Documents or even a Word document. In today's video, I want to use Google Documents because I find that it's very easy to work with, as well as what I love about it is that I can share links to Google Documents with other people and they have the opportunity to copy those documents into their own browsers and edit it if they want to. So the same ebook template that I made in my last video with Canva. I have taken out some notes from there to create a Google document template and I'm showing you how I'm putting that together, how I'm down, how I'm going to share it with people and the overall structure of getting that template out to my customers should they buy it. Okay, let's head on over to my computer where we'll get started. Okay, so here is an example of the Google document that I would usually include in a package to sell to a client. So as you can see, I somewhat prefer Google documents over Canva because it's just a matter of including any text that I want in a document. And because I'm selling templates, I basically highlight where the customer needs to change or customize the text. And I would be good to go. Whereas with Canva, you have to come up with design to make it uh, um, attractive to the customer. And if that's your thing, then that's fine. Because sometimes I do use Canva to create templates where images and graphics are needed. But otherwise, if I am creating, for example, email templates, then I don't need to use Canva and I can simply create a Google document. Now, the good thing about Google is that you can also use um, you can also create templates with a Google document, with a Google spreadsheet or a Google presentation. So there are different formats that you can use if you want to create the template. Now, I'm not going to show you how I created this um, because it's just a matter of getting your content together um, and then including that content on the document and personalizing it. For example, if you want to add your branding, you can do that as well. But I will show you how I got started in creating this document. First of all, you will need a Google account. If you don't have a Google account, you can simply go to create Google account like that. And then it's the first one where you can create it. You can create a free account. But because I do already have a Google account, you can then go to Google document, like Google Docs. and blank template. If you want to use the templates that already exist within the Google library, you are free to do so. But I'm just going to start creating a blank template. You can then enter your text as you want. Now, you will notice from the sample that I have here, usually on the first page, I provide instructions to the person who is reading my document. And I always like having my documents as a read only because what will happen is that if you were to share the document, not as a read only document, but where everyone can edit, that means that anyone who purchases your templates, they will be able to edit it as they choose. 
But as a read-only document, it means that they will only be able to view and they won't be able to edit. So I always like providing instructions to the user of how to copy the document so that they can edit. So you can see here, I say, if you wish to edit it, go to file, make a copy and save the document on your Google Drive. I also like to include instructions on how to actually use the document to make it easy for the person to understand the purpose of the document and how they can customize it for their own business. So that's what I would normally do here on the first page. And then on the second page is where I would actually start the specific template. I will then also rename my document because it will help me to identify the document in my Google Drive. So let's say I put a sample demo template here. And what I like about Google Documents as well is that it automatically saves your content. So as you start typing, if you look up here in this section, you will see that it saves um, as you go. So you don't have to wait until the end or always try to remember to save it. So if I were to type some text here, and you look up here, you will see that it is saving it automatically. Now, let's say that you are ready to create or to share your document with your prospective purchasers. What I do is I then go to share, and you can see that it was private only to me. So only people who are in this group can view the document, but because I want to share it with the public, I'm going to change this to anyone with the link. And I'm going to make sure that it says viewer here. You can change this to other two options. But as I mentioned, I like to keep it read only. So I will leave it as viewer. And then I can copy this link. And this is the link that I would share for the person to download once they have made that, their purchase. So I'm going to click done in this instance. And that's really it when it comes to Google Documents. You can see how simple that is and i love the simplicity of using a google document as opposed to canva because i can just tech, create my text share the document make sure that the document is saved on a specific drive so here as well this is where you can move the document from a google drive or save it onto your google drive and you can access the document when you are ready but when you share it the person can get access to the template specifically from your Google Drive. So that's really the ease of it. Let me show you as well other Google Documents. So as I mentioned, you can also do um, Google Sheets as a template. And the same thing will apply. So you have different uh, templates that Google has already provided to you, or you can create your own. And then there's also Google um, presentations or Google Slides. They call it Google Slides. So that's all for now. Don't forget that if you do want to um, access my Canva templates, in my last video, I posted the, where I shared five free Canva templates. They are ebook templates if you would like to get your hands on them. I've made sure to put a link in the description box below. Um, and if you have any questions about this process, then please do leave a comment in the description in the in the comment box below so that's all for now this is a very quick video to show you how i use google docs for my templates and i'm signing off for now and i hope i'll see you in my next video bye guys